Now let's look at how we can import a PDF file. So there's two ways of working with a PDF file. You can either attach a PDF just like you would with an image, or you can actually import the lines of the PDF. So to attach a PDF, all I need to do is type attach, choose the PDF I want to attach, open, leave it like that, and we have brought it in and it's placed it at the origin. So we can see we have a lovely PDF. Now, again, I can do all the things that I can do to other objects in terms of scaling and moving it around. But importantly, because this is a PDF that is actually crafted with lines, so it's not just like a scan of a printed sheet, it was actually a PDF generated from AutoCAD or another vector processing um, software. Inside this PDF, I actually still have access to my snaps. I haven't brought in all the lines and I can't necessarily get all these lines with the attach, but I could start drawing and lo and behold, I have all of these snaps that I can just play around with however I need. So that can be a real benefit of bringing in a PDF file, that it might be that you just need to kind of trace something that's already been drawn, and if it's not a PDF that you can necessarily import, you can actually just take advantage of any of those snaps that are already there because it's been brought in as a um, vector-based PDF. And again, importantly, this won't work if it's just a scanned drawing because scanned drawings are going to be um, actually image files embedded within in the PDF, so it's not going to work in the same exact way. So that's one way to bring in a PDF into an AutoCAD file. The other way is to actually import it because again, this is just that attached file, so it's one of those external references, but I could also do a PDF import. So to do a PDF import, basically I can either bring in a new file or import an existing file. So to import this existing file, all I need to type is PDF import, enter, and then just select that file. If I wanted to choose a new file, all I have to do is type F, enter, and then choose a new file. So I'm just going to go with the one that I've already imported, so or I've already attached. Click and now it's asking to specify the co first corner of the area to import. This is basically, you may or may not want to import the entirety of the drawing, especially if it's something that's really complex, or maybe there's parts of the PDF that actually have text and it's maybe a manufacturer's kind of guide and you're just wanting to concentrate on just the drawing of a piece of furniture or something. But in this case, I'm gonna do the whole thing, so I'm just gonna draw a rectangle around that sheet. And what do I need to do here? So, this is asking me if I need to either keep the original PDF underlay, detach it, so really um, kind of make it where it's no longer a linked external reference, or completely unload it from the file. Unloading it means that PDF is no longer going to be there, and all you're going to be left with is the imported lines. So, I'm going to go with unload. And it took a couple of seconds, but in some cases, if the drawing is more complicated, it might take a little bit of time. And now, I can actually go in and select the lines of my PDF. Again, this isn't going to work if it was like a scanned image of a drawing, but because this was a drawing that had already been created with a vector processed um, program, vector processing program, all of these things have been brought in as lines, and I can edit them however I choose. So that can be two ways to bring in a PDF. You can either attach it, just like you would another external reference, or you can actually import it. So you break down the PDF into its individual lines and import those lines within AutoCAD. If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe, where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching!